limiter max uh, is related in a PLM system uh, to the actual gain value of the amplifier. So this value of 35 dB will actually show up in the limiter max added to the threshold point or uh, the setting you're, you're setting up on the limiter max RMS and the peak. So if we have 35 dB gain here, it is important to know that because once you go back to the limiter section of lake, which is here on the levels, let's go back to levels, we go to limiter max, and when you touch on the fader, you will see a value at the bottom of the screen. So by highlighting the fader, there's a value of 59 dBU RMS at the bottom of the screen. If I bring this fader down to zero, it's at 38 dBU. Well, actually 39. Uh, there's a plus four discrepancy between the 35 dB gain of uh, what I showed initially and plus a four dBU that's a factory uh, default. So that's why the value that has to be the real value is the one at the bottom of the screen. So I can, for this two way, I can set up something that uh, would be somewhat realistic, which is, which it could be around minus let's say minus one or two dBU for the low frequency, and we can say about minus five dBU on the highs. Again, I'm saying minus five, but the bottom real value says 30 dBU. Once we have set these up, plus the RMS corner and the attack and release time, uh, we have the option of also setting a peak limiter uh, somewhat close to the RMS value, actually a little bit above the RMS value, we are ready to store the module. Uh, again, we leave the limiter section and the EQ section. We can go just straight home and go into modules, highlight the module, go into module store recall, and I'm gonna replace the my two way that I, that I originally had with the new one. This new one will have the limiter max settings and also the ISVPL settings. So that is very important. This module will be ready for PLM use. So I'm going to say store and I'm going to say yes. And just for uh, consistency, I can also go and rename this file and just add with ISVPL at the end. So I know it actually has a meaningful value for the limiters.